welcome again to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will continue our start series and i hope that you really enjoyed that and you will be able to gain a lot of insightful content from that if you are facing any struggle do let me know in the comment section i will for sure try to resolve it as soon as possible and with this let's start the today's topic in today's part of the video i want to discuss about that how whenever we are saying that our data is normally distributed as a standard thumb of rule how we can check that what percentage of data is distributed so as you can see on the graph itself you can see a bell shaped curve is plotted here and i can clearly see that whenever whenever your data range lies from mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma 68% of the data is uh, you know hanging there 68% i am saying more than half of the amount that you have when you broaden your range from mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma you can clearly see that 95% of the data lies here and when i will broaden more from mu minus 3 sigma to mu plus 3 sigma i can clearly see that 99.7% of the data lies here what does that indicate and what if if i'll just broaden more on that if i'll say the data range from mu minus 4 sigma to mu plus 4 sigma it is indicating that it's like 1 in 15000 point lie there probability of lying a data point in the range from mu minus 4 sigma to mu plus 4 sigma is 1 in 15000 means it's very very less so we can clearly see here so here if you will see 1 2 3 this is representing a z value and basically whenever your data lies when the z value of z is greater than 3 at that point of time you can mark it as a outlier so with the help of this rule the application is that you will be easily able to detect the outlier whenever your data range lie between mu minus 4 sigma to mu plus 4 sigma there are high chances because as we can see 99.7% of the data is already there inside this particular range right so always remember this rule always make sure that you should know at least this property whenever you will be given a value of mu and sigma now a very interesting question from this can be come up with you for example i am saying that test scores closely follow the normal model here mean is given to me as 1500 and a standard deviation is given to me as 300 so they are asking to me at what percentage of test takers score between 900 to 2100 so they are giving me a range from 900 to 2100 and they are asking what percent of test takers do you think how will you solve that this is a question asked in a very recent interview so here if you know, if you know this knowledge which i just talked about here you can easily calculate that how basically what you can do here is what you can do here is that what i am saying to you normally follows a normal model mean is given to me as 1500 so what i will do i'll just write it down the mean as so i can write it like this mu as 1500 and the value of sigma as i believe 300 in order to find out the percentage so here they already signifies to me that it is following a normal model distribution it means a gaussian curve is forming up now i i know the property if it is 68% then at that point of time the range will be from mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma let's check what is the range in that case 1500 minus 300 which will come out to be i would say 900 no 15 minus 300 will be 1200 so it will be 1500 minus 300 to 1500 plus 300 so it will be something like 1200 to i would say 1800 but this is not the range which is given to me it means 68% is not the correct answer if i will check for 95% what should be the specific range mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma in that case it will be 1500 minus 2 times of 300 to 
फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड प्लस टू टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड इफ आई जस्ट सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन इट विल बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड सो इट विल कम आउट टू बी नाइन हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड एंड आई बिलीव दिस इज द गिवन रेंज टू मी सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट स्टैंडर्ड थम ऑफ रूल विच आई विच आई हैव जस्ट I can say that the answer should be ninety-five percent. So, again, a very recently asked interview question. So, how basically we can utilize that property is really important to understand here, right? And now I am expecting that you will be able to get an understanding what I want to convey here. So, range is from nine hundred to twenty twenty-one hundred. I am getting from mu minus two sigma to mu plus two sigma. and i know that when the range is from mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma 95% of the data lies here so i can clearly say here is that 95% of test takers score between the range from 900 to 2100 second question says what percent score between 1500 to 2100 now here you can clearly see if i'll just make a plot if i'll just make a plot and i am saying that here the range is from i would say mu minus 2 sigma to maybe mu plus 2 sigma and here i am saying that 95% of the data lies here right according to the standard thumb of rule that we know so here obviously this is the mean value this is the mean value so here it is 900 here it is 900 What is the mean? Mean is fifteen hundred, and it is twenty one hundred, and I believe they are talking about the range from fifteen hundred to twenty one hundred. If I am not wrong, yes. So here, it means they are talking about this part. So if the complete range is ninety five percent, and if I want to focus only on this particular colored region, what is that percentage? By the way. it's a symmetric distribution right it's a normal model normalized model so i can say that it will be nothing but is equals to 95% divided by 2 because i am talking only about the right hand side half portion so it is coming out to be 47.5% so this is the answer for the second part of your question so if someone ask you this kind of a question now i hope that you can easily utilize that property of that standard thumb of rule so first thing you can easily solve these kind of questions if someone can ask you in an interview second thing they can also ask you that when the value of z is greater than equals to 3 in that particular case not equal to greater than 3 i would say you you should answer that that we can easily say or we can easily detect the outliers so it is giving me a possibility that there is a high chance that outliers will be there we will also see that for for the detection of outliers there is one more method called as box plot that we will talk about in a very much depth in the upcoming part of the videos but this question can be asked from you that how many ways do you know with the help of which you can detect the outliers so today in this in this particular session we have talked about our first way using a z value so here its z value is 2 if someone will ask you so when the z value is 3 the range is 99.7 percent when the z value is 4 now i can i can introspect and say that okay there is a high possibility that outlier will be there okay so i hope that i am making sense to everyone and this is all about what what i want to discuss in this particular part of the video now i gave you these two questions as well as a assignment problem which i will discuss in the next upcoming video the solutions of that so the third question i think i have already talked about so in the next upcoming part of the video first of all let's discuss these two questions and complete this topic in a pretty well manner and after that we will move forward towards the new important topics of stats okay with this happy learning to all and if you really enjoyed this video and have a great insightful content from that please share it with all your friends who say what is required this kind of a knowledge and it would really mean the mean a lot to me okay so with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video